hello guys and welcome to another CapCut tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to color correct and color grade in CapCut pc to begin i've imported this clip onto my timeline over here the first thing i would like to do is to duplicate this clip so i'll hold down alt and drag it one track to duplicate it the next thing i'm going to do is to disable this top clip over here so we can apply the color grade to the bottom clip over here now i'm going to select this clip and come over to these three lines over here and select it and select color oscilloscope and select show now these are vetroscopes that help us in our color correcting and color grading so the first waveform over here shows our light intensity for example if i come over to adjustment over here and under adjustment if i come down to adjust over here and i increase the exposure of my clip over here depending on your version it might be showing as brightness if i increase the exposure of brightness over here you will notice that these virtual scopes are clipping over here and it's affecting the footage so what these scopes does is they help us see clearly the effects of the different settings that we're applying to our clip so i'm going to reset this back to normal now if you're using the pro version of CapCut pc you can simply come over here and select auto adjust color and select color correction and this will automatically color correct your footage and if it's too exposed you can always come over to intensity and reduce the intensity but if you do not have the pro version that is fine i'm going to show you how to manually color correct and color grade your footage so the first thing you need to do is to pay attention to these scopes over here you will notice that there's a lot of room vacant at the top of your scope over here for you to have a perfect color correction you need to come down and increase the exposure till you have a better exposure so what i'm trying to do is to make these scopes come close to this line without touching this line the moment it touches this line it is clipping so right now i have a better exposure the next thing i need to do is to work on the contrast i can automatically come over here and increase the contrast over here and this will help make these scopes over here come closer to this line but make sure it doesn't clip at the bottom or at the top so i'm just going to probably increase the contrast and reduce the exposure so that i'm not over clipping it alternatively you can come over to the curves over here and under luma this luma signifies the brightness and the exposure you can create three dots over here and you can increase the brightness here and increase the darkness over here and we, as we do this for example if i increase the darkness you can see it clipping over here so that's too dark you can always take it back up but for cap cut i prefer to not use the scope i prefer to just use the basic contrast under adjust so this is what we have so far another thing you may notice is that the color may not be tilting in the direction you want so you can come over to temperature here for example if it's too bluish or too yellowish you can come over here to adjust the color to whatever you prefer but i kind of like this at the middle so i'm going to leave it exactly how it is another thing you need to do is to probably work on the saturation increase the saturation of your clip to have some more colors to it now once all of this is done come over to adjustments over here select adjustment and select a lot i've just downloaded this lot to download lots come over to this website freshlots.com and log in and select browse lot and you can select from any of these lots that you like for example if you choose this lot you can select it and you can see what this lot looks like before and after the lot is applied once you are done come down and select download lots i download these lots from this website for free once you are done downloading your lots you come over to CapCut, you select import and you select the lot and hit open so i've imported that lot twice so you can drag this lot as an adjustment layer and place it above your clip and stretch the duration of this lot to show the exact duration of your clip one of the things you will notice is that this lot is too saturated so you can come over to the adjustment settings over here and look at under lots you can see the name of the lot what you want to do is to reduce the intensity of the lot over here all right so this is what we have so far if you have a color that is overexposed for example you may have excess of red or excess of blue or excess of green what you need to do is to come over to the curves over here and you can scroll down and we have the red curves the green curves and the blue curve so for example if i want to take down this red that is looking like it's slightly overexposed all i need to do is to come over to this point and drag this red line down and as you can see we are successfully reducing the intensity of the red over here 
Another exciting feature in CapCut is if you come over to the basic tab over here, under lots, there's this feature that protects your skin tone. So for example, if I've messed up the skin tone from applying this lot, all you need to do is to come over here and select protect skin tone. And that will automatically correct the skin tone. But if you prefer it the way it was, you can just toggle off this effect and allow this skin tone to be the way it is. And that's it guys on how to color correct and color grade in CapCut PC.